Hey everyone, welcome back, and here we are in our little uh, sea moth here in the middle of kind of nowhere, but you know, we're somewhere I guess, and we were kind of trying to make it to the Sunbeam landing site, but there are some complications that have arisen, arisen? <laughs> whatever, have arrived while heading there, such as these floating islands, which is accompanied by a ton of bone sharks, and the impending depth over here, and the possibility of being ambushed by reapers. So we're going to do our best to stealthily navigate through without being seen by any predators. Last episode, we encountered two bugs, which were very comical. One of them was the Reaper that, um, not the Reaper, uh, one of them was the, uh, where's the scanner? Scanner, there it is. Was that a stalker that got like launched in orbit? And that um stupid gas thing um that was like doing some somersaults. So now we're on land, but we're like not on the good oh crap. Yeah. You little I hate those things. Alright. It's time to go exploring and pick up some rare resources. Fight me, dude, fight me. All right, I think he learned his lesson. So, We're just kind of exploring here and getting a lot of the valuable resources. Hoping for a little bit of diamond. So that way, there we go, we can build a laser cutter later. Quite a bit of resources that we're collecting here. I hate those little crab things so much. Stop it, or I will kill you. Fine, you know what? Wait, am I riding him? Wait, what just happened? I can't see anything. Okay, I taught him a lesson, a permanent one. So, let's continue on and see what fun adventures we can find on this island. Get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. How are you following me? Back off, you peasant. I'm going to go right into the water, aren't I? Or onto land and fall to my death. One or the other. Crap, crap, crap. Great. Now I've got to hug the wall here because I know exactly what lurks in this area. A big old Reaper boy. It is not very friendly. Oh, and warpers. And warpers. And diseased fish. So, this is great. I'm having a lot of fun. It was nice meeting you guys, but I think I'm going to go away for a little bit. Alright, there's the big uh, temple. I don't really know what it is. I think it's just a big old temple. Because, uh, that's really all I saw it do was just be a temple. Nothing fun. 
nothing really interesting. Because I was on the other island when, um, like, uh, a lot of the events happened. Like, when the, like, last game, when the arrow exploded, I was on the other island. When the sunbeam landed, I was on the other island. And, like, anything else I did, I was really on the other island for. So I didn't get to see any of the fun stuff. So, I didn't even see the sunbeam at all last game. Like, I just kind of missed it. And I was looking for it. I didn't see it. And I was like, oh, okay. So... Let's see, there's the purple fragment tablet. Let's go grab that. Cool. Cool, very cool. I don't know why it's extra laggy over here. It's kind of interesting. Hmm, it, it, somehow it renders better underwater than it does on land. That's a little weird. So. Wow, that is really bad lag. That's like crazy. Is the temple really that like... Tablet fragment. Okay. Let's go have some fun. The first time I found this night, this uh, temple, I was just so blown away because I didn't realize what I was getting into. Like, at all. Why is it so laggy in here? Like, it does perfect. I'm like underwater and whatnot, but like a lamp? No. Green tablet. No, a data terminal. It's been a while since I played this game, don't judge me. So we've got like, what, like 15 minutes or so to explore all of this. So we have plenty of time. I don't think there's anything in here, so I don't need to worry about getting like ambushed, but water I should probably make sure that I have enough of that. Um, yeah, that, that's all there is for that room, I think. Let's see what else we can find. I forgot I could sprint. I think this is just leading to the exit. Yes, it is. So, there is a lot of more ground to cover because we're nowhere even close to having this temple explored. Oh, that was a big whoops on my part. I'll take that. Probably dock the Cyclops in here later. Forgot this was part of the temple. So I don't remember what happens to the Sunbeam actually. I thought that because I wasn't a landing zone, they didn't pick me up. So. 
we'll have to hopefully actually, uh, maybe actually end the game early and get picked up by the sunbeam. That'd be kind of interesting. I kind of hope that's not the case. That, um... That... The game doesn't end like that. Because I know that there's, like, that whole thing with the, uh... The creature living down in the huge containment chamber at, like, a thousand meters, but... Um, is there anything up there? No, nope, there's no way to get up there. So I remember this being like called like a doomsday weapon or something like that. So, but you know, yeah, because there's that tentacle arm thing that comes out of there and like, you know, molests you. So. We're not going to play that game quite yet. Alright, fine, we'll play that game. <sighs> Thanks for puncturing my wetsuit, dude. I definitely needed that. Alright, so we got the translations now. Cool. Big oof. I know, dude. Big oof. Wow, it is really laggy in this area. I always wish I could take that gun and, like, use it. But no. Instead, we can't because of reasons. Oh no, this one is the one that gets activated. That's like down deep, so. It's like a baboon trying to like speak human. <sighs> and up we go. We got 10 minutes until uh, everything goes horribly wrong and the sunbeam lands and I mean something's got to happen to him. There's no way the game will end like that. Like, Definitely aesthetic man. Definitely aesthetic. Ugh. So much running, so little time. Well, actually, there's pl Whoa. Okay. Um. It's kind of a cool shot. Huh. Alright. Ooh, that's even cooler. With that planet coming into view there. That's really cool. Look at that. 
That's what I'm talking about when I talk about, like, epic screenshots. Stuff like that. I forget, does this island have uh, human settlements on it, or is it the other one? Hmm. Well, there's still a lot of time in between now and the sunbeam's arrival. Wow, that's a lot of fish right there. So, let's uh, just sort of wander around the beaches here. Nice walk on the sands. Where the only threat to us are those annoying little crabs. Like that one right there. Huh. All right, uh, water cave system. I don't remember this at all. Cool. Okay, not so cool. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna pass. So, whoa. So, oh, it's now like almost daytime. Cool, I guess. Ugh, that stupid crab thing. Um, is there a way to get all the way up there? I don't remember. I think there is, but it's like, oh, big oof. But it's like one of the paths that are kind of like obscure and up the mountain. I'm going to try to get a screenshot of the sunbeam landing. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, it is unbelievably laggy. Wow. This is kind of depressing, actually. I like how he can sprint for unlimited amount of time, even though he's been, like, swimming for the past, like, two days straight, and, you know... You want to go? Let's do this. Okay, he's dead. He's dead, dead. Is there another island all the way over there? No, it's, there's not. Okay. Yes. Okay. That'll come in handy later. try to find a source of food when well, I could eat the little crab things um 
Is that a cave? No, it's not. It's just a little cove. Oh, Skyrim has taught me well. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, no, I want to. It's like trying to make me jump off of that. That is, that is a big no on my part. <gasps> this is not good. Oh, I'm gonna die right here. Oh, whew. wow, that was uh, that was a little scary. I don't know how I didn't die there, but uh, I'm gonna count my lucky stars and um, yeah, two minutes and thirty seconds. <clears throat> Huh. You know, if you kind of like tilt your head, it kind of looks like a big rifle. I wish there was like a tower, or like a spire, or like, um, like a, um, like a temple of sorts. So, because I mean, it's, it's like they're holding the artifact, or like something down there. So... I don't know. Uh, I guess I have a little bit of an overactive imagination. So, although, I, I mean, is it a gun? Oh. 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 Oh no. Oh no. It's a gun, isn't it? That's what shot down the Aurora. Oh no. And I feel like an idiot for not realizing that sooner. I mean, I did miss this event last time because I was on the other island due to that portal up there. Oh my god, it is a gun. It's moving. Holy crap, it is, a, it is a gun. It is a gun gun. Like, it's not just like a gun, it is a gun gun. Holy crap. Holy crap, oh my god. It's a gun. Holy crap, it's a gun. Holy crap.
Okay, so it is definitely not a temple. And we can officially cross that off the list now. That is a list of things that it is not an alien temple. It is definitely not an alien temple. Holy crap. It's kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to go hunting real fast and get some fish. Whoa. Ah, uh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, can I get some, like, peepers or something down here? That'd be nice. There's a biter. Oh, yes. Right there. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Because... That is a big spook. Okay, so the sunbeam got blown out of the sky by the big gun thing. Oh, uh, okay, so now a lot of things make sense that didn't make sense in my last playthrough. Okay. Okay. I also got a really wicked screenshot out of that. So, that's pretty cool too, I guess. I mean, people did die, but it's still pretty cool. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Not really, but you get it. Huh. Nah. Ugh. Maybe next time. Because I gotta go drop all this uh, equipment off at home base. Because... We've got a lot of it. I hope these actually lead out. Okay, cool. This one does. Alright, the Seamoth is kind of close. <gasps> Me too, buddy. Okay, we are literally like right above the uh, the territory of the um, the big boy, the Reaper. So, okay, screw you too. <sighs> Let's just keep on moving and get the hell out of here. It's still chasing me. Okay, there we go, finally. So if I stay in the shallow areas, I should be safe. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, is uh, stay in the shallows. To avoid getting uh, eaten by the big boy, because... That is the list on things that are my least favorite things to do. Getting eaten by big boys. Huh. 
<sighs> All right. So, um, that happened with the sunbeam. So, that really sucks. A lot of people just died. I mean, I know they died, but I guess I really never, I mean, I don't, I don't actually know if I, like, I thought they died or if they, like, I thought they just left me behind or something, I guess, but I don't know. But now we know, I guess. So, can I build anything yet? Nope, uh, not yet. Um, hmm. Well, we now know that the thing over there is a weapon, and I'm sure a lot of you actually knew that. But because I'm an idiot, I didn't know that. So, and I just fell right through the sea moth. All right, um, let's see. Let's just go and put all those back. All right. So that was quite the spectacle. Um, I don't know if that really counts as being uh, ASMR, <laughs> watching a spaceship explode, but I am glad that you suck through this far in. I really appreciate that. So if you have not subscribed yet, Please, uh, please do, because, yeah, um, uploading every day, and, um, whatnot, so, if you, uh, like daily gaming ASMR videos, then subscribe. I don't know how long I'll be able to maintain daily video game ASMR videos at the current rate because it is um, exhausting to maintain work, school, and this. So thankfully winter break starts later this week. So I'll have some time to uh, do that stuff. So yeah. Um, anyways, uh, thank you for watching and making it this far in. I appreciate that greatly and have a fantastic